Hello, I'm Intrinity Tim, and welcome back to This is the Police. Uh, so, we are having some manpower issues at the moment. We do need to have a few more cops on the beat. Uh, we're having issues responding to enough crime, which is meaning that the uh, like the council, the, the city hall are being like, yeah, you're not responding to enough stuff, we're going to cut your police force even further. Which doesn't really help. Um, doesn't really help at all. So, let's go to work. <laughs> My grandfather has episodes seen recent decisions have got worse. They happen more often and all the t ends in tears. The doctor says you need to go out of town to get a new drug. I'm the only one of the family who drives. In this case, I'm going to say yes, but come in tomorrow because I do need more people on the other shift. Today, my daughter is opening an art gallery at uh, an elite gallery, uh, an art exhibition at elite gallery often in, <sighs> no, I'm sorry. I need, I need people to come in now. I've already said one person have the day off. Start the day. Right. I need to hire someone, don't I? For A shift. Oh, you're not a replacement, but fine. A shift's gonna suck. Fine. Okay. See Hall, can I? No, three days left. Funeral. Today she's buried with military honors. Last episode, a young artist apparently knifed two of our cops before running away. Robbins. Edward, the city of Isidea here, having pulled a drowning Senator Wallace Green from the river. The municipality of the Senator's recommendation has decided to reward the outstanding officer. The uh, ceremony is scheduled for the July the 27th. Um... I have no idea what today is. Oh, it's the 24th. Okay. And they don't be open to the press as well as Mr. Green's family who wish to personally thank the police. Make sure nothing unusual happens to the officer so he'll be able to attend the ceremony and receive his medal without complications. Ah, okay. So we're going to make sure that uh, Vasiliev, who's on the other shift, is okay. That's fine. Uh, right. Arson. Um, she's on a permanent vacation, spend most of her time at her parents' house. I'm not going to send SWAT, but I will send two good cops. I want to swap something else. Oh. Oh, you're home today. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, you're you're on tomorrow. Yeah, no, it's tomorrow I want to send you. Attempted murder. An ice cream van struck a schoolboy. The ambulance arrived quickly, but the boy was declared dead at the scene. <gasps> the nearby residents enraged and the justice from the driver of the van. He's currently holed up inside the ambulance while the paramedics tried to reason with the crowd. The situation is quickly spiraling out of control. I have no idea what this is. It's like a SWAT van. I don't have one. So I can only send one officer? What? Why would I only send one officer? This is silly. Why would I just... Ah, fine. Coach, you're on. Don't screw this up. Don't screw up, Kochi. Also, don't get killed. That would be bad. Jack, some black gangster hit one of our shops. It's too much for it to deal with right now. Can you help? Uh, fine. I'll get paid good for this. Requesting reinforcements. I only have one cop to send. Oh, God. This is not good. This is going to go so badly. I mean, if I could send reinforcements, I could send SWAT, I would. Oh, no, this is not the way to start. We've got something down at the courthouse. Ooh, ooh, that's, that's... 6,000. The courthouse. 6.30. I, I don't know if I can allow that. It's the courthouse. Noise complaint at the sawmill. Attempted murder. Offender caught. Officer unharmed. Civilians up. Yeah, nicely done. Okay, noise complaint at the sawmill. 
An early man called the police station reporting that terrible screams are coming from the sawmill a little over an hour. The hell's going on? You guys gotta get a little sleep around here. You better check it out. Terrible screaming? Um, okay, I'll send all these three. Henry Sand. Mr. Boyd, I manage a large fleet of vehicles and want to organize a workshop for my new drivers. They have to learn how to behave on the road so a patrol will never need to look twice at our cars. Please send three of your best officers. They'll ride all day with my people and explain the intricacies of traffic flow and police monitoring. I've heard about the problems your department faces and particularly the obsolete fleet of police vehicles. So in return, I'll be happy to donate a paddy wagon. Oh, I want, I want a paddy wagon, but I can't. Because that's the thing that I didn't have earlier. I can't. I don't have anyone. Literally have no one. Oh, I've got 25 seconds. I won't have enough people. I'm only going to have two. Oh, damn it, I really want the paddy wagon. Robert at the drugstore. He violently threatened a female pharmacist at she opened the cabinets. Ooh, okay, how long we got? It's going to be two, just two people. I don't, I don't have time to get four. Someone's surrounded by a nine-foot fence and the gates are locked from the inside. Shouts can be heard from within. Break the gate open. Ram the gate of police cruiser. Knock on the door. We're going to ram the gate of police cruiser. A man is threatening a young boy with a circular saw. The man is screaming hysterically. Pounce on the criminal. Uh, when he's got a circular saw, raise a gun at the man and order him to release the boy. Yeah, I'm not going to shoot just yet. Nice. Oh. Balls. God damn it. Okay. So he's going to the courthouse in less than an hour. I need my cops ready for this. What is it? Homicide! During sentencing, a serial killer by the name of Albert Ramirez seized a gun from the holster of the court bailiff and after shooting several witnesses, barricaded himself inside the courtroom. With a hostage. I need you back. Okay, come on. We need you back. Everyone is going to this. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. But this is too much. Ready? Go, 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 go. Oh, for God's sake. Just uh, timing. Emergency medical services arrived on call for a man complaining of chest pain. When they're treating him, the man suddenly attacked one of the EMTs, shouting wildly about the global pharmaceutical conspiracy. The other person managed to escape and call the police. I can't do anything about it. This does take priority as City Hall. The situation is more serious than we thought, requesting reinforcements. I'm already missing one person. I can't add another two. I'm going to refuse. I'll offend a court. Officers. What? Three officers died? And civilian was killed. Oh, civilian was killed up there as well. What? Jack, don't know why you did it, but we hope you had a good reason. Don't forget who your friends are. We don't want any more trouble. Uh, oh my god, I have to hire like three more cops now. God damn it. That was a massacre. One serial killer. And they had SWAT. <sighs> By the way, I'm boiling. Part of the reason my voice is terrible today. Ugh. Uh, end of day. That was a really terrible day. We need to do some paperwork for this dead employee. Declare dead or delay the paperwork. Why would that be a benefit? I'm just going to declare dead. Declare dead. Declare dead. Maybe there's not so many cops that are like killed in one day, maybe? Yeah.
Well, City Hall employs a body with company cards for personal use. Small drug dealers invade Freeburg. Freeburg opt to host semi-files of youth hockey tournament. <gasps> Link. Link a stub. We really need a better car. When I was taking the trash, I accidentally got some poison ivy. No. Wow, that is a good crew. Can I tell you to just go to B-Shift? Just not bother coming? Ah, too late. Gotta go to the map. Please advise that we're unhappy with the efficiency. We're cutting the department's budget. What? I'm gonna fire an officer. Uh, a detective. I'm, I can't fire an officer. I'm gonna have to fire a detective. I know I haven't been here long, Rositsky. But you're gone. Right, straight up, let's go to the arson. First thing we do. Um, St. Everts. And meal. Also, on the labor market, let's get Chloe. Uh, this is B shift, right? Yeah. Sanu. And let's get Jim. <sighs> God damn it. God, I'm City Hall. Two days until I can request anything. Trespassing at a farm. Two unidentified men snuck onto his farm and set... This is not trespassing, this is arson, and set fire to the barn. As the call came in, the two criminals were attempting to gain entry to the house. That's also threatening to break, like, and... No, that's that's not simple trespassing. That's a lot worse. Yeah, we're sending the three best we got. It might be one of these cases where they have reinforcements needed soon. It's a very early call in the day as well. In progress. Ah, oh, I could have sent swap, but I wanted to keep them for later in the day. Ah, investigation failed to miss a suspect. It happens. But I need to like bucket my ideas. Like I'm not doing good enough at the moment. There are no signs of criminals in the house. The front door's been broken down, and shadows look inside. Come out your hands up. Civilians? Oh, so who was in that house? Theft. Everyday mall. Um, um, I'm gonna wait until I've got a couple more people back. Okay. A drug addict attempted to hide an expensive bottle of liquor under his jacket. When he was caught, he began to throw a fit. Uh, Everts and Sam D. We need at least something to go right today. I mean, I guess it went okay. Okay. Come on. Jack, one of you guys try to rape our accountant. We locked him up in a hotel room where he threatened to hand the whole organization over the police. I think it's time he talks to a police officer face to face. Um, I mean, normally I'd be like, sure, if he wants to work with the police, I'd consider it. I, I'd consider it, but he tried to rape our account. No. Ellis, you're going over. The problem is I'm sending Ellis rather than my snitch, so I can't be sure of what Ellis is going to do. Which is a problem. Please try to call him. Yeah! Uh, they've got something going down at 640. 1,000. It better be, like, nothing for 1,000. Mm. Parking lot. Sort of a deadly weapon. A woman reports that she saw a skinhead attacking a dark-skinned valet, striking him around the legs, yelling, I'll beat you till you're dead, freak. No shit, I'm gonna do it. She believes that she saw a pistol sticking out of the skinner's belt. Yeah, send the four we've got. One, two, three, four. Proceed. Straight up. Get out there. Sands are going to have their thing soon, so kind of want to speed this up.
Reinforcement. <sighs> Fine. Attempted murder. Man is lying in the street. It seems he's been shot, but no one saw who shot him or where. Man is still alive and ambulance is on the way. It's only attempted murder. I mean, you know, it's still, a, you know, it's attempted murder. But I've only got one person, so I can't really send anyone. If I send Ellis, probably won't be successful. Ellis will probably die, and Stan will be angry. So I'm just going to send no one, and I'll take the thousand. Please tell me no one died. Ah, oh, he came back and killed the civilian. That is not worth a thousand. Yeah! Took that Skinner down. It took way too many cops, but we took the Skinner down. Attempted robbery. Yeah, we can get this. We just need the cops back. A lot of cops for that. When can I get my... Increase to my... Budget, two days. Ugh. I need more cops. This is a good, like, shift. Only two. Uh, Eight-year-old Kevin at the home, hiding under the bed. Unknown person is the guy outside the apartment door. It's probably a false call. But I'll send, um, Purdy and, uh, Ellis. Just in case. Also, deputy. Let's do a send our employees on a yeah, make everyone happier. Make make those ones happier because they're like good. Yeah. That way they'll want to stay with the department more or something. Got to keep them happy. Requesting reinforcements. Okay, so it's like a proper robbery. Sure. Um, Everts and Samdi. Go. Now the problem with these ones is that they you know, take a lot of time because you have people there and then you've got people going again. So it's like three times as long trips in theory, in opposed to like two t two trips. You've got there and back. You've got there, there, and back. So it takes a long time. Uh, but, you know, it's the end of the day, so it doesn't really matter. We could have actually sent the two best. It was a proper robbery. Huzzah. Well, we will end the day there then. Yep, you're fired. <sighs> God's sake. I mean, it's not too bad when I'm losing detectives. So far, I've only really needed like one or two. Uh, but I'm, I'm really worried about what's happening to our shifts. Like six people is not enough to keep up with what we have at the moment. This is seven, but only because Purdy's actually a B shifter. Uh oh. In my new role as corrupt official, I had to give up some of my favorite habits. I couldn't turn off my phone when my head ached, couldn't sleep till noon on Saturday and let the rest of HQ take up the slack. No more days off to go fishing, but my weekly visit to the old colony club was more like tradition. One night a week, I absorbed cigar smoke, the vague smell of alcohol, the stench of urine, all mixed with toxic levels of old drunken belches. Lovely. Same picture it was 30 years ago. Tradition's got to be honored. And to stay faithful to the tradition, you've got to respect the standard rituals. When you're about to roll out of the club, you need to take a deep breath and count to a hundred. If your stomach doesn't do a backflip, you should be good to make it home. This time, I only got up to 60. I was interrupted. Oh dear. Why? You look even better than you do on TV. There's nothing more impolite than approaching people in the alley at the old colony. This is the most private place in the city. 
All who enter here dirty their shoes with the most elite stream of vomit in Freeburg. This asphalt has been blessed by judges, lawyers, artists, businessmen, and all our politicians. Takes a lot of balls to crash the party. My head was a drunken haze, but I knew who he was. A cartoon gangster suit straight out of Dick Tracy. Fancy voice, fruit cologne, sassy strut. That's how the newspapers described Vikis Varga, rising star in Freeburg's criminal underworld. He appeared out of nowhere, and with the support of the local punks, Varga broke all the old rules of organized crime. He killed those who could not be killed, traded what could not be traded, and robbed those who could not be robbed. In just a single month, this man had gathered an incredible amount of power. He's been called everything from a clown to a madman to a criminal genius, and more often than not, he's called a low-class upstart short on ideas. But if Vargas was one of the old crime bosses, He'd have been cut into pieces and fed to the river. Look past this guy's arrogance and there's something about him. The city is still deciding what to do with him. Meanwhile, he's burning down the houses of old city mobsters. Not the best time to talk, Mr. Varga. Well, you know my name. I'm flattered. Although not very surprised, to be honest. I might be a little short on manners. Like they say in your fair city, with the right manners, you can go anywhere. Well, I don't want to go anywhere. I want to stay right here. Even the criminal world needs manners, Mr. Varga. And one of them is this. Don't interfere with a drunken cop who's trying to take a shit and puke at the same time. Oh, you exaggerate. But is Freeburg always so gentle with its officers? You've been a bit roughed up lately. I see you already know Freeburg quite well, Mr. Varga. Well, I love to learn and look around, but I do know that the inhabitants of this fair city should be friends, Jack. Maybe it's true I don't have the best manners. After all, it's only polite for friends to share their phone numbers. This city of yours moves so fast. That pin's on top of the writing. I feel like I'm hooked on amphetamines Under. all over again. Yeah. You wake up in the morning full of ideas, and by nightfall, you've all had each other killed. So don't wait too long to call. I don't mind if you're drunk. It's all the more fun. I'll be stoned myself, most likely. Hell, I'm a little stoned right now. It's the only way to live in this place. I like your city, Jack. I'm here to stay. I'm not sure what the accent is. It's like Russian-Irish, which is weird. If it weren't for the phone number written on my arm, I probably wouldn't have remembered the conversation in the morning. But there was no reason to worry. I'd be getting a reminder soon. Orthodox priest bribe mayor? Greek priest to be appointed... Ahead of Freeburg Orthodox Church. As head of Freeburg Orthodox Church, not a head. Uh, students volunteer to help farmers. Oh, that is kind of them. I wonder how the mayor wants me to destroy them as well. I've got to please the mayor at some stage. We need, we need more resources and I need to please the mayor. I also need to somehow stand up to sand. It would help. If it, civilians weren't being killed and my budget was being slashed because civilians kept dying. God damn it. Uh, but yeah, that'll be next episode. I've been interested. If you enjoyed, please like, not subscribe. Please consider subscribing. And of course, until next time, stay shiny.